But uh, for the first time ever, we have specific numbers. They were just released. And it's about the people that crossed the border illegally under Kamala Harris. That she's even, look, that she's even running is frankly ridiculous, okay? That's not a president. That's not a president. She went to the border today because she wanted to see if she could. She's getting killed on the border. And she went to the border. This was a bad day because somebody just released the numbers that came out through ICE. According to this brand new data, never seen before, over 13,099 convicted murderers have crossed the border and are free to roam and kill in our country. These are convicted murderers. These are people that were in jail. Now, I've been talking about this for three years when I heard they were opening up the border. Three and a half years. I said, if they open the border, because I know the people on the other side, and they're smart, savvy people, you know, they're at the top of their game. Our leaders are not at the top of their game at all. They never were, actually. But uh, our leaders are not. These are smart people. And these are countries from all over the world, 13,000, more than 13,000. Convicted murderers have been let out of jail, and they're roaming our streets, their country all over. And every state is a border state. You know what that means, right? Every state, because they fly them in. Can you imagine? They fly them in. These people are... I actually, I'm starting to think they're stupid. They're just stupid. There's one other... So that's the one. As well, and other numbers came out along with it. Thir over 13,000 convicted murders from jails in jail. And I told you, they're releasing them from jails, and these fake people, these, these stupid people, will say, they don't release them from jail. They do, Mike. They do. You know that. You better elect him your senator, I'll tell you. As well as over, and these are specific numbers. That's why when they rounded them out, I said, I don't want them rounded out. I want the exact number, as well as 25,272 illegals convicted of rape, sex offense, or sexual assault, and in jail. These are people all in jail, because they don't want them in jail. They're too expensive, and they don't want them in their countries. They're smarter than us. They give them to us. We're like a dumping ground. In total, 425,431 non-detained, meaning they're no longer in detention, meaning prison, non-citizens, convicted criminals from all over the world are right now at large in the United States of America with another 222,141 illegals with pending 